Welcome to this course and in the following videos I'm going to be talking about several types of income streams that you could earn as a YouTuber. Most people think that you need a large YouTube channel with millions of subscribers and millions of views in order to be successful on YouTube and yes it is true that people on YouTube who have millions of subscribers are making a lot of money What's also true is that you don't really need a large channel to earn a full-time income. I know of YouTubers with small channels who are earning a full-time income, and that's because they don't, they're not relying on just one or two income streams or the popular uh, income streams and business models that you hear, you hear about, such as making money from YouTube ads being placed on your videos. But with that said, you do need a business model around your channel. Don't just focus on growing your audience and your AdSense revenue. And AdSense revenue I'm going to talk about in a later video. And it's basically the revenues that you earn when people click on ads on your videos. And mind you, when you first start out, you may have small income streams. But if you add them all together, uh, they can add up to something significant. So you should strategically try to build multiple streams of income. So watch the following video in which I'm going to talk about the several types of income streams that you could earn as a YouTuber. I'm just going to go through some income streams in this video that you can earn as a YouTuber. Some of these you may already be familiar with and some of them you, you may not. Okay, so let me just quickly go through these. And, and then some of these I'll talk more about in the following videos. Now, the most well-known income stream amongst YouTubers is AdSense, Google AdSense. And basically, when you're watching a, a YouTube video and you see an ad, and if you click on that ad, the YouTuber who posted that YouTube video will get paid by Google. Now, other ways you can make money are through the sales from your own products, um, through crowdfunding, brand deals, and affiliate income. And these income streams that I just mentioned, I'll cover more in the following videos. Other ways to earn money are through consulting, speaking opportunities. You can also license some of your video content to brands that want to take your content and make it a part of their commercials. You can set up a paid membership site in which you can provide more training and other perks. And you can do super chats and this is where you can get paid through your live streams. You could also do freelance services. And lastly, my favorite income stream is to build an email list that you can continually market products and or services to. And I will also be talking about this in another video in this series. I'll also be talking about uh, the super chat in another video in this series. Okay, so with that said, I will see you in the following video. The first income stream that I'm going to talk about is Google AdSense and this is probably the most well-known income stream amongst YouTubers probably because it requires the least amount of work and this is actually my least favorite income stream okay now if you're not familiar with Google AdSense or you don't know what it is it's it's basically where you share revenue with Google when their ads are displayed on your videos and a viewer clicks on that ad or watches it fully. Now, here's what I don't like about this business model. First, you cannot control this revenue stream and you're gonna make very little money through this business model. You're only gonna make between $1 to $2.50 on every 1,000 views or CPM. CPM means cost per thousand. So for every thousand views, on your videos, you're only going to get paid between $1 and $2 or $2.50. So if you do the math, if your goal is to make, let's say, $1,000, then you need to get 500,000 views. There are exceptions though. If you niche your channel down and become really targeted, you can earn more money per 1,000 views. For example, uh, I know of a, a YouTuber who's making $15 instead of the average one to two dollars per 1,000 views. So for every 1,000 views, he's making $15. So if you wanna start putting AdSense ads on your videos, there are some new YouTube requirements 
you do need at least 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and at least 1,000 subscribers. Now, if the thought of making money through AdSense depresses you, don't worry. In the following videos, I'll talk about other business models that you can apply uh, in which you can actually earn more money than AdSense and that requires or actually does not require you to have a large YouTube channel. In the previous video, I spoke about Google AdSense and that you don't earn much with Google AdSense. And luckily for you, there are business models that pay a lot more, such as affiliate marketing. You can earn four times more uh, with affiliate marketing than you, having YouTube ads or Google AdSense. Okay, you simply put links in your YouTube description and these links, well, let's call them affiliate links. And when people click on your affiliate links, uh, they'll be brought to a page, to another website. And if they buy something from that website, you earn a commission. And there's an affiliate program for almost everything. So you find the right one for you, sign up as an affiliate, and then start promoting those products. The most well-known affiliate program is Amazon. So just head on over to Amazon if you haven't already uh, gotten an affiliate account with them. And when you're an affiliate, you can you start using affiliate links and earning commissions when people purchase through your link. It doesn't even have to be the the product that you direct people to if you're using Amazon. As long as uh, it's within their cookie period, if they purchase anything on the Amazon website, it doesn't even have to be related to the product uh, that you're promoting, uh, you will still earn commissions from Amazon. Another popular affiliate program is ClickBank and that is more for digital products such as uh, ebooks, online courses and and video tutorials. So you go to ClickBank, uh, sign up as an affiliate and you will find products for almost every niche. So that's worth taking a look. And there are dozens of affiliate programs out there so you can just do a Google search and see which ones are more appropriate for your business. Now, to increase the likelihood of your viewers actually clicking on your affiliate link in your description, you have to create good quality videos. And when you're promoting affiliate products, there are several types of videos that you can make. For example, you can create a video in which you do a product review. So for example, if you want to promote uh, the Vitamix blender, which costs around $500, you could do a review of that product or you could also do a tutorial a video tutorial uh, of that product so you could show how to use a product or how to fix it and so on you could also create a favorites video you create uh, a video showing which products by vitamix are your favorites now i'm just using vitamix as a quick example off the top of my head um, you could also create a best of videos of comparison videos so again, using the Vitamix example, you could create a video comparing Vitamix to the competition or to other blenders within the, the Vitamix company. Okay, so there's hundreds of other types of videos out there, uh, but those are one of the best ones you can create. Lastly, make sure to give a full disclosure about your relationship with the advertiser or the sponsor in the video and in the description and in the advanced settings, check off the box that says your video contains paid product placements. Now, what I like about this next one is the fact that you can earn recurring income from this model. And what I'm talking about is earning income from a website called Patreon. Patreon is sort of like a, a platform that you can use to have your own paid membership site, except that Patreon does all the work. It's also a crowdsourcing type income model that's based entirely on rewards and incentives that you get to design for your own audience. So if you're a YouTuber and you have only a few subscribers, it's still possible to make four figures per month. There are more than 2,000 video creators making more than $1,000 each month on Patreon. You can choose to get paid either per month or every time you publish new content. And what I recommend to a lot of people is to choose to get paid per content. This way you'll be more motivated to create more high quality content. Aside from the recurring income, what I also like about this business model is that you're not relying on YouTube and Google AdSense and that you're being supported 
by the people who watch your content. And what's also great is that this allows fans to connect with you on a whole new level. Another great way to earn income with your YouTube videos is to be sponsored by companies and for them to basically pay you just for talking about their product. So this is called sponsorships and brand deals and there are many ways to connect with these brands. There's dozens of websites in which influencers, uh, which is basically you, and brands, these companies, uh, can connect with each other. And usually in these platforms, uh, the brand will post a job and invite influencers to apply. So you would submit a proposal and if accepted, you and the brand uh, discuss more details and the payment. And if you do get approved, you post your content on YouTube and the brand pays you. And there are popular websites for finding brands and a couple of these are Famebit and Grapevine. You can also hustle and use Google to find even more brands. When you first email these brands, you have 10 seconds to grab their attention. So tell them who you are and how you can bring value to them. And remember, it doesn't really matter how good your idea is, it matters how detailed it is to their needs. You can also give them a preview of the type of video that you're going to create for them. In terms of getting paid, don't be the first to give your price. Instead, ask them what their budget is and that you'd love to work around their budget. Before you charge brands for your services, it's important to know your worth so you can be confident in what you charge companies. Because you know what? You may be more valuable than you perceive. Think of it this way. It costs a lot of money for companies to create content. You have to pay money to, to hire actors, etc. And they see a lot of value in your channel because you're creating the content for them already. And brands spend thousands of dollars on ad spots on social media that don't convert much anyway. So they're used to spending a lot of money. Now keep in mind, the more specific your niche is or the more targeted uh, that your YouTube channel is, the more money you're worth. So even if you have a small channel, you're possibly worth more than a channel that is not in a specific niche. There are actually some YouTubers who have small channels who are earning a full-time income because their niche is very specific. So if you do have a specific niche, try to deal with the brands who are targeting your specific audience, not the brands who are just trying to target a general niche because you'll get paid more from these brands. Another way that you could earn income as a YouTuber is by selling your own products. And what I'm going to be talking about here is physical products. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about digital products. Okay. Now, if you're an artist, you could sell your own artwork, or if you're a musician, you could sell your own music. But of course, I know that um, the majority of you are not artists or musicians. So you're going to have to create your own products. And there are websites out there such as teespring.com, which I'm looking at right now, where you could upload uh, your designs and basically they'll put it on the merchandise for you. So for example, on Teespring, you could sell t-shirts and sweaters and other types of clothes and accessories. And basically you have your designs uploaded here and whenever you make a sale, these people will print out your clothes for you. So there's basically no upfront investment for you. You only pay when you make a sale. Another website that you could go to is AliExpress.com and this company is based in China and there are probably millions of products that you could find here for pennies on the dollar. So for example, if you want to sell jewelry, just click on jewelry here and I'm just going to show you an example of the pricing that's uh, that you can get here. You could get them for 98 cents. So basically you can buy them for a few cents and then sell them for anywhere between five and twenty dollars depending on the type of product it is. And the great thing is just like Teespring there's no upfront investment. You only buy these products when you make a sale. So if a customer uh, places an order and you receive the money from them then you would go to AliExpress or from the suppliers on AliExpress and you would order from them and then they would 
ship the products for you to the customer and this is what you call drop shipping you're basically not having to hold any inventory as the supplier will ship the products for you to your customers in the last video I spoke about selling physical products now I do prefer to sell digital products and that's because you can automate the process and customers can immediately receive the products uh, without you having to do anything now there are several types of digital products that you can sell you can sell ebooks uh, video tutorials software reports graphics website templates etc depending on uh, what your skills are and depending on what your channel is about now I know of a guy who makes around $300 per 1,000 views from his $7 ebook. So for every thousand views, every, every time he gets a thousand views, uh, he'll get a certain amount of traffic uh, to his website and people will buy his $7 ebook and he'll generate around $300. And this is a lot better than the $2.50 for every 1,000 views that most people will get by using AdSense. Now, if you are going to go ahead and write an ebook, you can take a day just to focus and write your own 10, 20, or 50 page book. Or you can also hire somebody, or you can hire a ghostwriter from an outsourcing website to write the book for you. Now, you can also buy private label rights. And for this, you could just do a Google search, just type in private label rights or PLR, ebooks, videos, etc. And you could get PLR to all types of products ebooks videos software reports graphics and so on and what private label rights or plr what that means is basically you are buying the license to rebrand the products under your own name and company so if you were to buy uh, the plr to an ebook you could actually edit the content of the ebook and you could also claim yourself as the author of that book did you know that when you're doing live streams on YouTube, you have the potential to earn some income? And basically with YouTube's function called Super Chat, viewers can pay you just so that they could pin their comments on the top of the comment section of your live streams. So when you have a live stream going on, viewers will see a cash symbol in the chat window and they can click it to set a dollar amount and then pin their comment. So basically this is a way for fans to pay you money in exchange for attention. Google has described Super Chat as a highlighted message in the chat stream that stands out from the crowd to get even more of your favorite creator's attention. So after paying, uh, your fans comment will remain pinned to the top of the chat for up to five hours. And the more that a fan pays, the longer that the comment gets pinned to the top. A benefit of this feature, aside from the fact that you'll earn more money, is that it's a way to better connect with your biggest fans. However, Super Chat is only available to those who are part of the YouTube Partner Program. And keep in mind that YouTube takes about 30% of the Super Chat revenues. Out of all the business models and income streams that I talked about in this video series, my favorite one is building an email list and with an email list you could promote products to your fans and your subscribers time and time again and basically you'll just have more opportunities to promote things to them if you have a list and another great thing about it is that you know you don't want to be too dependent on YouTube YouTube can shut down your channel anytime as they've done to many other youtubers so it's a way for you uh, to gain your independence from YouTube just in case having an email list is also a great way for you to build a relationship with your fans and your subscribers and of course you may have heard of the saying the money is in the list um, I promote affiliate products every day to my list and earn money every day because of that and aside from affiliate products, you can also promote your own products and merchandise. You can promote your Patreon page. Uh, you could just simply let them know of your latest videos. And basically, you could promote business models that I talked about in the previous videos. And it goes without saying, you should provide value as well to your list by giving them free tips 
and advice every once in a while and not just always trying to sell them something. Now, when it comes to building your list, you will need some tools. You will need to build a squeeze page. A squeeze page is a web page that you need to collect email addresses from your leads. And although you can create it for free, uh, there are video tutorials on YouTube for that. It's probably easiest for you just to use a tool. There are free and paid tools for creating squeeze pages. Uh, you just have to search for whatever is the right one for you. Another tool you'll need is an autoresponder. And an autoresponder allows you to collect leads, uh, collect a, or build a database of subscribers and automates several things such as sending out your thank you emails and other types of emails to your list and also allows you to segment uh, your list. And the autoresponder that I use is GetResponse. I've been using that for almost 10 years now. However, there are several autoresponders out there. So again, do your research and find whatever is the right one for you. So when you're creating a squeeze page and you're trying to get people to uh, opt into your list, I do recommend that you offer a free gift. You could write up a free report. You could also just buy the rights to some eBooks or other types of products. But again, you could just spend a few minutes just writing a list of top tips and it doesn't have to be 20 pages long. It could just be one or two, two pages long. Okay, so once you have your squeeze page set up, uh, you would put a link in your YouTube description. You would say something to the effect of uh, get, your, get more free tips from me here or get your free video here. So for example, if you have uh, a weight loss or a fitness channel, you could say something like click here to find the best or to find the 10 tips on how to get six pack abs.